Well, the day has finally come to put this onto this. Let's get this done. All right, so the time has finally come. I got the engine block. Um, everything is already assembled on the block, the oil pan, uh, the water pump, the oil pump, everything is assembled, the rotating assembly, the strap kit, the windage tray. Um, basically, I was going to put it onto this uh, stand or just buy one, but this just seems to be a little bit easier for right now. What I'm going to do here first is I'm going to get the cylinder head on. Um, we have everything's cleaned up. A little piece of paper towel laying right there. Uh, everything is cleaned up. The studs are hand tightened down in per their instructions. Um, there's our bolts. Here is the cylinder head. We have it prepped. It's ready to go on. Um, everything that I'm using is new or near new. So, um, this stuff here needs cleaned up just a little bit on this cylinder head. Um, the mating surfaces is really nice. So, what I'm working on right now is I'm getting these cams pulled out of here. I'm going to set everything off to the side. I'm going to look everything over, double check everything. I have um, copper spray gasket. I have assembly lube to coat my cams. I have everything else over here. Let's check this out. This is what we got. All right. We have, um, here's our ARP stud box. Here's our instructions. I've got all kinds of gaskets. We have the timing kit right here. Um, here's some extra bolts. There's some more gaskets. Here's uh, another one for the other motor. Here is... Our gasket, our cylinder head gasket's right there. Where's the idler? Here's the idler. Here's our Gates racing belt. Okay, I have brand new timing covers here. Um, we have all new crank, oil, cam magnet, cam sensors just out of the bag. Um, here's our MPX gears that we're gonna be installing. Um, when we get to it, here's in, in and out um, gaskets. Here's our dipstick tube, our ARP bolts for our clutch, ARP uh, AGP fork that we're going to be installing. But we have to get this assembled into one piece before we can even get to that stuff. So um, <clears throat> nice water neck here to put on. Uh, I got a new gasket to go here. So, like I said, everything that I have is either brand new or slightly used, as in the cylinder head, slightly used. Most of those parts are new. We got a fork that we're reusing. Um, I mean, obviously, the block's been going over. It's a new oil pump, new water pump, new oil pan, new timing gears, new timing belt. Lots of new stuff going into this little build here. So... <clears throat> I'm going to work on pulling all these off. I'm going to set them over here in line. I'm going to get another set of paper towels. I'm going to set my cams on. I'm going to look over them, double check everything there. Uh, I got to looks like I got to clean this up just a little bit right here on the end where the seal goes, which is probably no issue. That's probably just rust from being out. And uh, when I get this done, we'll get the gasket sprayed. Um, I'm going to double check our torque specs, get my torque wrench out. It says to do it in three. Going by the ARP paper, it says uh, three sequences up to 85 foot-pounds. So with uh, their lube, which I have opened up over there, so we can get all that stuff taken care of. I'm trying to use as clean of a space as I have. Um, my workbench would be ideal, but, you know, we just never can get all the stuff off of that thing. So we have a swept floor. We're laying everything down. We're just taking our time. We're being really careful. We're double-checking everything. It's just... Sometimes it works out that way, so I'm going to work on getting these cam caps off so that we can get the rest of this stuff off out of the way. Um, if I believe I have most of these are all just ready to come off. Here's our three. All right, well, I'm going to get all this stuff taken care of. I'm going to get everything removed over this, out of the cylinder head. 
All right, well, here we go. Cylinder head's good and clean. Uh, couldn't find anything else in here. Got it all wiped down. Got the bottom nice and clean, ready to go. I'm gonna double wipe that before I stick it up here. We just sprayed down the head gasket. Um, it looks like it's gonna be 45, 65, 85. So I'm gonna go over this. I'm gonna get this thing laid on here quick and start getting this torqued down. Alrighty, we got everything setting down on here now. We're gonna get the cylinder head torqued down. We gotta get the nuts and the bolts put on. Here we go. Uh, basically just wiping off the washers. Getting them set down on here. Okay, well, you know, if you made it this far, I just want to let you know, <laughs> I'm no engine builder. Some of the stuff I might be doing wrong, and I might learn something from this, and so might you. Um, I am applying, I just thought this was a good way to apply this. I'm just using a Q-tip, and I'm applying the assembly lube to the back side of the nuts before I drop them down onto the top of the studs. I've actually got three more to go yet. All right, I'm going to get a ratchet. Um, I'm going to go over all of these nuts. I'm going to get them tightened down all the way. Okay, so we have our torque sequence. All right, so that's this way. The way the cylinder head is. I've actually did 45. I did 65. Right now I have set up at 85. All right, and that's our final torque spec. So we're going to start at number one, and hopefully I can actually do this. So I'm just a little scared that I'm not going to be able to pull on this thing. Okay. Number one. Two. One. All right, we're all torqued. All right. <laughs> Cylinder head is on. Well, now we just got to look up the torque specs for the cam caps. Uh, double check our cams. We can get all that stuff set down in. Get all that stuff tightened up. Set our crank at top dead center. Get this timing belt on. Of uh, Crowler Stage 2s. Um, camshaft name stage two. Uh, so it goes through everything here. Here is the card that came with it. Goes over everything. Exhaust, all that stuff. All the fun stuff anyway. So, yeah. What degrees of advance have been ground into this? So basically, I'm just going to get them installed. Uh, I'm going to rotate them over and uh, you know we got valve reliefs in our pistons. Um, it doesn't really specify that with anything that I have found that anything different needs to be done. And uh, yeah.
let's get this thing together. All right, so I have the cam is in. I'm using some of this assembly lube just to coat everything so it doesn't have a dry start. I'm checking out all of my cam caps, double checking all these threads on all these bolts before I'm reassembling this. Just giving everything a really nice good look over and getting them set in one at a time, making sure they're all the correct direction. Um, I have some black silicone here. These get tightened down to 105 inch pounds. Where was it? Okay, so the eights get tightened down to basically 12, uh, 8.75 foot pounds, and the tens get tightened down to 20.83. So my torque wrench doesn't go small enough, so I'm kind of screwed on that one. Uh, that only goes down to like 15 to 20. So that kind of puts me in a bad predicament where I'm just going to tighten these down by hand. I've done it before. <laughs> it's what I got right now. So um, I'm going to acquire a torque wrench later and then I'll back them off and retorque them down. I'm sure that I won't have them over tightened, but they'll be tight enough. So where you want to put your silicone. We're going in. I'm going to actually probably wipe this ex excess off over here because I'm going to need to put silicone in there when I put my valve cover on. Same with this. Just uh, make sure you don't get it down in this valley because that's for oiling. And some over here and here. All right. There's that. Okay. Get these started. Now I do have to look up the sequence yet because I still want to kind of tighten it in sequence regardless. We have a sequence here for our cam caps, which is actually like this. So it'll start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on each cam. And then the end caps are something separate. So I'm going to go through this and get these tightened down. We have all the cam caps are on. Um, everything's sealed. I got the cam seals in. Just wipe this stuff down here. It's not drying yet. Put a little bit of... I packed mine with grease so that uh, they don't start up dry too. So right now we're at the point of actually installing this um i think depending on how they did this um this bolt here might not line up so that's gonna have to be something that i got to take care of now to double check to make sure that goes in in case i have to pull the water pump off and reseal it because i did not install that so we'll see if it was installed correctly so i'm gonna grab a bolt go from there all right In case you want to know, that's a dormant part number for the back timing cover. All right, still got to double check, make sure I can get a bolt through here. I got to get the tensioner installed, but I need it for this because, like I said, I'm not tearing apart an engine. We got, uh, we got. This thing ready to go. We got all of our eight mil bolts started. We got these cleaned up. We're putting them back in. And you know, uh, we're almost to the point of getting to install the, the timing gears. Um, I gotta install the idler here. And then we can get our timing set. We're gonna rotate that around a whole bunch of times. But uh, we're gonna get these tightened up. These are eights. These down here are 13s. Um, the only thing I can say, honestly, this cover does not exactly fit as well as stock ones. And this is the first time I've used an aftermarket one. So just put that as a side note. You know what I mean? If you have a stock one, use it. It's in close. We got our tension adjusted. We have our torque wrench torque to 35 here to lock this thing in place. 
So, we have the belt on, the covers on. We are knocking this thing out. So, we can get our lower cover here now on. Um, I do have a side bracket for this. So, I'll probably end up digging that out and going from there. What a bunch of fun. We've got quite a mess I'm trying to find bolts that I need to put this thing together. Um, you know what I mean? We got the head on, we got stuff, man, there's just stuff everywhere. Uh, so we're going to basically, I'm, I'm getting ready to stick this valve cover on here, you know, hitting this with some silicone where it needs to be on these ends and, uh, pretty much. going to get this valve cover bolted down we got the uh, Mopar gasket installed in here and this is the one I got to use for this so kind of tops are off that's pretty much together for now um, I'm just gonna get this thing bolted down I'm um, gonna put some tape over these ports and call it a day on the motor as far as that's concerned i got a bunch of other things i got to take care of and with that i'm just going to end this video here hopefully hopefully you can see my head hopefully that's enough um and i covered everything good enough for this part of the build um so we're going to be down to you know getting all the sensors in um getting the exhaust manifold on we got to get the clutch installed we got to bolt up the transmission so we got a bunch of stuff here we got to cover yet and this thing will be really close to actually getting installed into the car. I cannot wait.